All right, so a few classes ago, we were asked to give a one to two minute speech on the one thing we wanted to do before we died. For most of us, this required a pretty good deal of money. So one way that could help you uh, come up with that money is through investing, which is going to be the main focus of my speech today. Um, I'm going to cover what investing actually is, um, some reasons for and against investing, as well as um, a few examples of ways you can invest. All right, so what is investing? Um, investing is the act of committing money or capital to an endeavor with the expectation of obtaining an additional income or profit. So essentially this is just using money that you have now to hopefully use that money to turn it into more money in the future for yourself. Um, what investing isn't is a gamble. Um, you shouldn't invest in random investments and hope that luck's on your side. It's not like playing the stock market game. Um, it's a lot more serious, it's your money. Um, careful analysis and thought should be put into the investments that you choose. Now here are some reasons for investing. Um, one main reason is inflation. Um, if you choose to save your money and just put it in the bank instead of invest, um, inflation is going to uh, devalue the money you put in. So it might be better to invest some of that money and hopefully get a higher return on your money. Um, this links with uh, low interest rates, same thing. If you save your money as opposed to invest it, um, you're not going to make a lot with uh, lower investments in interest rates. Um, <coughs> investing is easy to do nowadays, too. You can just go on the internet, buy and sell investments yourself. Although if you're doing it yourself, um, you want to make sure you have enough time to manage those investments. Um, another good thing about investing is it provides an additional source of income. So say you buy some stocks, you could get dividends paid back. If you have bonds, um, you might get interest uh, payments back. Um, say you buy a house and you want to rent it out, you could get that rent money. Um, like Shane was talking about earlier, you could uh, save for retirement. Um, obviously you guys all want to retire and it's not reasonable to save every single dollar that you, you're going to need for retirement. You're going to want to start making that money you put away um, work for you. And that kind of ties into uh, paying for a future event, event, so that vacation or that one thing you want to do, um, investing can help you earn that money. Some reasons against investing, um, if you have debt, so credit card debt, any type of debt, um, you're going to want to pay that off first because it, it's cheaper financially to do so before you go start investing other money. Um, if you don't really know what you're doing, uh, you don't really know that much about investing, um, probably not a good idea because you could lose your money, which ties into the third reason, possibility of losing your money. Um, even if you have knowledge about investing, you still have that chance that if you buy a stock the company goes under, uh, you lose your initial investment. Now let's get into some uh, a few examples of ways you can invest. Most common is stocks, obviously. They're just shares of ownership in a company. Um, Stocks typically can provide the highest rate of return, however, they also have the highest risk. Um, there's bonds, which are pretty much loans you give out to a company or a government. Um, municipal bonds would be government. Um, they give lower rates of return, but um, uh, they're tax-free, however, uh, in the money you make from them. Uh, corporate bonds provide higher rates of return, however, that the company could go under and you um, have a risk of default there. And mutual funds are just a combination of the two. They're just groups of uh, stocks and bonds together. Um, uh, fund managers actually um, manage these mutual funds for you so you don't have to do the research yourself. Um, then there's 401k, which is specifically for retirement. Um, the good thing about that is that uh, contributions you make to that are aren't taxed. However, if you withdraw before the age of 59 and a half, you're going to have to pay a 10% tax. Um, and the last way that I'm going to talk about today is through commodities like uh, oil, gold, and silver. Um, commodities are good to invest in because um, it helps protect against inflation, and it also helps diversify your uh, investments. So hopefully today you guys learned a little bit more about investing than you already knew. Um, we talked about what investing actually is, um, some reasons for and against investing, 
as well as just a few examples of the many ways, many different ways that you could possibly invest your money. So hopefully this got you to think about um, some ways you could in the future invest your money so you can do that one thing you want to do before you die. Thank you.